Hi, Michael Roth of Blue Oak Property Management. In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of short-term versus long-term rentals as investment properties. Uh, so first of all, let's define what a short-term rental is and a long-term rental. Uh, short-term rentals are transaction-based. Uh, think your vacation rentals, Airbnbs, uh, VRBOs, and they're typically furnished. Uh, long-term rentals are going to be in a lease. Um, and typically our leases are a year lease, uh, but they could be different terms. It could even be month to month. And typically in Chico, those properties are going to be unfurnished. Um, the first pro for long-term rentals and the biggest pro in my opinion uh, is consistent income. Uh, meaning uh, tenant signs a year lease, you know every month you're going to get X amount of dollars as income. Uh, another pro uh, is there could be less wear and tear. Uh, you think of a family moves into a three bedroom house. Um, they usually treat it like their own, whereas a vacation rental, um, it could be more of a party scene. You could have someone come in for a bachelor party. You could have typically 10 people stay in a three bedroom house. Uh, so there's a lot more, there's a lot more chance of wear and tear on those uh, properties. Um, another pro for long-term rentals uh, is there could be less vacancy costs. Again, you have um, a tenant in a year lease, even if at that end of the year they decide to move, they have to give you a 30-day notice, which gives you plenty of time to advertise the property. So once those tenants move out, you do a little cleaning, touch-up cleaning, and new tenants move in. Uh, so it could be a week, two weeks uh, vacancy at the most during the year. Um, another uh, pro is there is less upfront cost um, and monthly expenses uh, uh, long-term. So if you think of short-term property, if you buy a short-term, not only do you have to buy the property, uh, but then you have to furnish it. So you have to buy all that. Um, and then short term, they're also going to have to, so you're going to have to pay all the utilities. Whereas in the long term, um, it's unfurnished. And then the tenant pays usually all the utilities. So your only expenses uh, besides taxes and insurance might be landscaping and pest control. Uh, some of the cons of long term rentals um, is limitations on raising rents. Um, in short-term rentals, you can easily adjust your daily rate if you want to, um, if your expenses suddenly go up, whereas you're stuck in a lease. Uh, not only that, if it's a multifamily property here in, Chico, or here in California, uh, you're tied to some rental laws of how much you can raise the rent and when you can raise the rent. Um, yeah, and another con uh, is there is the risk of putting the wrong tenant uh, in there, meaning if you're not properly screening your applicants for your properties, and you put a tenant in there and they're not paying rent and not taking care of your property uh, and you have to go through the eviction process it could take 30 to 90 days here in butte county to evict those people um, and then that's lost income during that time uh, the last con i have for you is long-term rentals are more regulated than short-term rentals again we talked about raising rents and how you can do that um, also, like when you can expect the, in, inspect the property, um, if you want the tenant to move out, what type of notices, how long you have to give them, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, let's talk about some of the pros of short-term rentals. Uh, possibility of um, getting more income than uh, a long-term rental. Again, if you averaged out your daily rate um, on a short-term rental versus long-term rental, uh, the short term is usually a lot higher because um, again, that's vacation, it's short term, all that stuff. So they're thinking hotel rates versus, you know, a monthly rent amount. So if you consistently are renting that place, you, you have the chance of creating a lot more income uh, on the short term rental. Um, another pro is owner use flexibility. Say you buy an investment property in a ski town and you like to ski. Well, you can use that property when you want. You can block out dates. You're like, hey, I want to go there for Thanksgiving. Let's block that out and we go skiing all Thanksgiving. Um, obviously, you can't do that in a long-term rental. Um, uh, another one, another pro for short-term rentals. Again, it is a business transaction um, versus a lease. Um, and the advantage to that, so say you have a, a customer sign up for a three-night stay and their day, uh, they're still there on day four and they don't want to pay you or whatever. And um, you can just call the police um, and typically they will have them escorted out because they have an established residency. None of those laws apply. So it's a lot easier um, uh, as far as the business transaction part of it to get people in and out of the property. Uh, some of the cons, again, we talked about the wear and tear. There's a lot uh, greater risk uh, of wear and tear on your property. Um, 
There's also increased costs associated with short-term rentals. Um, we talked about all the utilities um, furnishing the property, but also if you're going to have management, uh, management fees are a lot higher on a short-term property than on a long-term property. Uh, if you're going to use property management, um, here in Chico, you also have to register as a hotel and pay hospitality tax. So those extra expenses that aren't associated with a long-term rental. Um, vacancy risk is a real, real uh, con here for short-term rentals. You could have you could have it fully rented one month and then it doesn't rent for three months. Um, again, if you're not in a uh, vacation area, which goes to our next con, which is location. Obviously, uh, you know, if you have a property on the beach, that's going to be pretty consistent income for a long, you know, for short term rental. Whereas here in Chico, uh, this is not a vacation town. Um, even when I do that, the, from talking to people, um, if you have properties close to downtown, those seem to rent okay uh, in the short term, but the further away you get from downtown, those are usually the ones that are more at risk for vacancy. Um, lastly, inconsistent income, or again, it's long term, you know, every month you're getting next dollars amount. Uh, it could be all over the board, which we talked about. You know, one month fully rented, next month it doesn't rent at all. Um, so your income just could be all sporadic. Um, and that's all I have for you. Um, check out our other videos on our website, blueoakchico.com, under our owner resources tab. All right, thank you.